guys and welcome back. Today I got for you the uh, Drew Estate Sun Grown uh, Gordito. This one is uh, called the Flying Pig. It's got a pretty unique shape there and a little twirl, uh, pigtail thing at the end. Now, uh, I had this shipped to me and it did have a little bit of damage. Um, I just put some fruit pectin on it to uh, help repair it. Um, so I think it'll be alright. But if it does start to fall apart, we know it's because of shipping damage. Uh, anyway, we'll get this uh, laid up. This is uh, 3 and 3 quarters long and by 60. of a dry hay right off the bat and I'll get much more than that yet get a little more into it and see how it goes I'm about 10 minutes in here and it's burning a little funny this part didn't quite catch up might be because of the wind out here um, but I'm just gonna touch it up real quick other than that I'm starting as that dry hay flavor is still there and I'm starting to get um, kind of like a not very sweet chocolate. Maybe some uh, like nutmeg. Just a hint. The flavor, the body's not too strong. Um, I don't. The strength's not too strong right now. Um, other than that, it's going good. The smoke is a little wispy but it might improve after I touch it up a little bit. About 20 minutes in here. Um, the flavors are pretty much the same. That dry hay on the draw and then uh, a fleeting cinnamon um, nutty flavor on the finish. Um, but one thing that has changed is the uh, strength has come up a little bit. I can definitely feel it. It's not too strong, um, but I can definitely feel it in the background. I am getting some splitting here in the wrapper, um, and I had to touch it up one more time, which it, it has been fairly windy out here, uh, but it's not terrible, so I don't know. We'll see if I keep having to touch it up. Um, otherwise, I'll just keep going. 35 minutes in here. Um, it's going pretty good. I did have to touch it up a couple more times just to keep it burning evenly. Even You can even see right there it's starting to do it again. Um, that is right where the crack was though, so I'm going to chalk it up mostly to shipping damage, but this is kind of a uniquely shaped cigar, so sometimes they it's hard to for the uh, rollers to pack it right, so it might be have something to do with that too. If I get another one of these, then I'll do an update. Um, otherwise, this is my experience with this one, so I'm just going to keep going. Uh, the flavors are still pretty much dry hay. The smoke is uh, its definitely not smooth. Um, it's not harsh, though. Um, anyway, I'll keep going here. I ended up getting about 40 minutes out of it, and it's starting to uh, burn a little wonky again, so... I'm gonna end it here. Uh, the flavors are getting a little washed out anyway. Um, not a great performer. Um, I don't know if it just had to do with the wind or uh, the shipping damage or its shape. So I probably won't be buying this one again, but I might try another one of the shapes, sizes. Um, anyway, that's it for now. I'll uh, see you guys next time.